Have you ever been in the position where you have to set up timers, write down your tasks for the day, or just try to remember something? Well, it happens to us all, a lot. After all, you can't get through life without some good old-fashioned drudgery. Slow day at work, or trying to learn something but finding it really boring? We've all been there, right? But what if you could make all of that hassle fun and rewarding? Anything can be turned into a game. Think about how the most boring tasks and activities can be improved by introducing a fun, game-like element into the equation. Games are part of our everyday life, and new ones are produced every day to make us happy. And let's be honest, one commonality that binds us all is our pursuit of happiness. But how do video games enter the picture to make boring tasks more exciting? And this is where we welcome you to the world of gamification. So without further ado, let's talk about how we can apply gamification to real-life experiences and make those boring tasks more exciting. Oh, and don't forget to stick with us until the end to know our point of view on the future of gamification. Okay, let's get started. Welcome to Alux. Turning your life and job into a game. Raphael Koster once said, in the end, that's what games are, teachers. Fun is just another word for learning. And boy, was he right. You might be asking yourself, what the heck is gamification? Well, it's about adding game-like elements into an activity that isn't a game. After all, even the most mundane tasks can be made to look exciting in video games. Simple, right? Well, if not, how about we give you an example? Have you ever made a bet with someone that you could stack more shelves or whatever faster than they could? Well, you just turned a chore into a game. That's kind of how gamification works. You can find gamification in pretty much anything, but especially in business and education. And its implementation in different industries is growing rapidly. We actually made a video on the topic before, so if you're curious about how gamification is implemented in various industries, go and check it out. But this time, we want to talk about how you can apply gamification techniques into your life. So instead of dwelling on the time it'll take you to finish a task, you'll be looking forward to it. When you use gamification techniques and tweak your approach to achieving certain goals, you will recover the focus that has slipped from your grasp. Now, let's explore the impact that gamification could have on your lifestyle. In your diet. Gamification has the potential to change your eating habits, which can impact the way you feel and, as a result, the way you live. Have you ever played games like Temple Run or Angry Birds? You'll find that games like these are addictive, and you'll always want to go on to the next stage. And if you're the type that loved playing games as a kid, you might have even been in that situation where you forgot to do your homework or go to bed early because of an addictive game. Using similar gamification approaches to keep track of your diet can help to keep you motivated. We know that when you're trying to lose weight or eat healthier, sticking to a strict regimen can be difficult. So how about using the Paleo app to monitor your diet? The Paleo app is an excellent illustration of how gaming concepts can be used to teach people how to change their habits for the better. You might be wondering, what role does gamification play in the Paleo app's user experience? Well, being able to keep track of your progress is a start, and the beauty of technology has made it possible. You can also assign scores to certain milestones and associate rewards with achieving specific score levels. Walking around with a notepad to track your intake of food and drinks would be annoying, right? But checking how to reach the next level in your diet through an app sounds much more fun. Thanks to technology, everyone is now already engrossed in their phones. Those in close proximity may never realize that someone is actually taking notes on their lunch intake instead of scrolling Insta. In your work life. We live in a time where businesses must constantly evolve and discover new methods to stay relevant. Otherwise, you risk your business being sidelined or rendered ineffective. So you'll need employees who are always motivated and dedicated. This is where gamification comes in. Have you heard of the networking hardware company Cisco Systems? They wanted to create some internal competition among their staff to transform their social platforms into a dynamic brand asset. So to turn their employees into badass online brand ambassadors, they devised a gamified social media Media training program that pushed them to grow from specialist to strategist as their knowledge and experience grew. As you can see, this is a far more successful method for motivating staff to take advantage of continual learning opportunities than, say, making it a mandatory KPI. In your exercise routine, 
Dieting isn't the only aspect of a healthy lifestyle that people have trouble with. Many also struggle staying on track when it comes to exercising. People struggle to stay motivated when they don't see immediate results. However, there's now a plethora of apps available that reward users for their efforts toward keeping in shape. If you're having trouble motivating yourself to go to the gym, fitocracy badges and achievements can definitely help. Visualizing your progress in the app is exciting, and competing certain quests or missions is another way to remain on track with your fitness goals. Don't you just love it when you achieve 10,000 steps and your phone congratulates you with a little golden ribbon? When trying to learn new things. Learning something sophisticated like a new language can be a difficult task. While learning a new language requires a significant amount of time and effort, the process can be made much more enjoyable for you when combined with gamification techniques. Duolingo is an excellent example of gamified language learning, with over 100 million individuals using it to learn new languages. Duolingo not only makes learning new languages enjoyable, but it also aids with the translation of the web. This is why gamification expert Yukai Cho was quoted as saying that the gamification of language learning works better with Duolingo because when students learn a language, they gain skill points when courses are finished or online content is translated. Now, we might have mentioned a couple of tools you can apply in certain aspects of your life, but tons of others are equally as important. The first one we're going to talk about is Habitica, and it's for general productivity. It's certainly a fan favorite for those that know about it. This all-around productivity tool turns your to-do list into an epic quest to keep you on track. When you cross off a task or finish a project, you get experience points and gold, just like in a role-playing game. And if you've got a lot of tasks to manage, perhaps you might consider using Todoist. The Karma feature is what makes Todoist unique from other project management apps. You earn positive karma for each task you complete, while you earn negative karma for missing a deadline. And we believe that Todoist is a simple-to-use app that helps you to visualize, track, and increase your productivity. Another interesting app is one called Forest, which can help you to stay focused. If all you want to do is avoid being sidetracked by the other temptations on your phone. You simply have to plant a tree in the app to stay focused. Your tree will grow as long as you stay on task, but if you exit the app before the timer runs out, your tree will die. The good thing is, though, that even if you aren't completing the task at hand, you won't be scrolling around on social media either while your tree is growing, so it can also work as a way to lower your social media use as well. Gamification in Business just like we mentioned earlier, various organizations are capitalizing on gaming techniques by incorporating them into industries with goals that go far beyond mere entertainment. Honestly, the only limit of gamification at this point is the human imagination. Since 2010, when it all started, gamification has played a significant role in the success of a number of organizations that have implemented it. These organizations were able to better connect and keep their clients, engage their staff in company activities, and improve their business operations overall for recruitment. For tech giants like Google, they've discovered that hosting coding competitions may help them to gain access to new talent while also allowing them to test in a real-world setting. Candidates will find it more appealing because it's competitive, and the firm is also able to analyze their competence before offering a job role to the right candidate. For employees. Did you know that Deloitte's onboarding process has been digitized and gamified? New hires create teams with other new hires and learn about privacy, compliance, ethics, and processes through online training. They achieve this by providing preset questions to their team, which everyone must answer. Following that, the team discusses the answers and possibilities with the goal of coming up with a single answer. This strategy blends functional learning with collaboration, resulting in a strong sense of belonging right from the first day a new employee joins the company. For customers. Gamification is an excellent method for increasing and retaining client loyalty. Starbucks's reward app, for example, has a lot of success. It features basic and appealing designs that make it simple and enjoyable to use. The concept is simple. The user receives stars for each purchase they can stick on a cup in the app. After collecting a particular amount, the user advances to the next level where they can receive a free cup of coffee or a small gift. The app is simple, yet very effective. The future of gamification. There's so much new territory that gamification plans to cover in 2022 that we might not be able to cover it all. What we can tell you, though, is what we're already seeing and the things we expect to happen in the future. Gamification is being structured around the principles of intrinsic motivation. 
we're already in 2022 and we're seeing gamification activities that are more oriented on intrinsic motivation principles rather than relying on external factors. External factors such as badges and leaderboards will initially attract you to learning. However, you'll only want more of it if you enjoy the learning process. Gamification's gold standard has shifted away from points, badges, and leaderboards. Many gamification initiatives still use these concepts, but we now see a lot more game concepts that smartly combine them to achieve their designers' goals. So we feel that in the future of gamification, a change to more intrinsic motivation will be unavoidable. E-learning will delve deeper in its teaching and wider in its reach. Experts anticipate that gamification will gain traction in key areas with established systems, such as education, healthcare, pharmaceuticals, and financial services, and we agree with them. Gamification has been used in these industries mostly in the areas of compliance and critical operations, but with sustained results, gamification will be used in other areas of learning as well, such as onboarding, sales training, and soft skills. Other learning tools will continue to blend with gamification. To inspire students, e-learning gamification can be used with other learning techniques to make learning more interesting and immersive. Imagine playing a gamified VR firefighting module online, where you can learn about the do's and don'ts of firefighting in the safety of a virtual setting. Really, the possibilities are endless. Okay, let's wrap all this up today, Aluxers. Gamification is the way of the future in education, retail, and other industries around the world. But there's one thing we all have in common. We all enjoy playing. Okay, you stuck with us until the end, you know we've got one more thing up our sleeves, a bonus for you. Did you know the US Army uses gamification techniques? Yeah, they're using some well-crafted training games that have been leaked to the media to entice more people to join the US military. After all, some of the most popular games in the world are army games, so it makes sense.